Believe it or not, this is not a lightsaber. This is the new Govi Floor Lamp Pro, but it's also not a floor lamp either. It's a speaker lamp, smart light, lightsaber thing. I haven't seen anything that blends a lamp and a speaker like this since the IKEA Symphonisk range I reviewed a few years ago. But I'll tell you now that I've been super excited to take a look at the Govi Floor Lamp Pro since they emailed me a few months ago teasing that something very tall was coming my way. And they weren't joking. It's nearly the same height as me and I'm six foot eight. I mean, it's nearly reaching the ceiling as it is. Of course, it doesn't come like this in the post. It wasn't in a long body sized package. Instead, it came in this pretty small box. So if you haven't already guessed, you have to assemble it yourself. Actually, to be honest, it was pretty straightforward to assemble. You start with the speaker base here, which has a little bracket on it that you then slot the first piece into. You've then got loose brackets that screw on top of this portion, allowing you to screw and fix the next portion on. And each metal bracket has four screws in it to hold the two tube sections together, which is pretty overkill. Now, once the final piece is on the top, you simply attach the cable for the light and then click the rubber housing for the LEDs into the channel of the tube that you've just assembled. And that's it, you're done. From a distance, you can't even tell that the lamp came in separate sections, and especially when the light is on, and when it's on, boy, it's on. This thing is super cool in terms of its immersive lighting, and it actually forms in two different places. The first is the long tubular section that you saw me assemble a few moments ago, but it also lights up on the base where the speaker is too, to offer more ambient lighting in the room. Now, this bottom section gives an excellent glow, certainly at ground level, that accents this top tube fantastically. And interestingly, both of these sections can be controlled individually. So if you wanted the floor lighting to be on, but not the tube, then you can do so, which I think is quite a nice touch. Now, the top tube is super bright, but it offers quite a bit of flexibility with how you use it. The intended use is to aim it towards a wall or a corner, kind of like it is now, so that it can cast an ambient light against the flat surface and sort of radiate from it. And it's sort of this that's new in this Pro model, which is an increased level of brightness to help cast the glow out even further and more vibrantly. Although with that said, I actually think it looks pretty cool facing towards you, like I showed at the start, with the bright light directly into the room. It's very reminiscent of a lightsaber. And it's because this light is diffused somewhat and you can control the brightness of the tubular section, it means that if you did want to face it inwards rather than outwards towards a wall, you can dim it down so you're not going to be burning your eyeballs out, which is very possible at full brightness because this is the brightest floor lamp that Govi have ever made at a whopping 2,100 lumens, which is usually reserved for devices like work lamps. That's insanely bright, but it certainly uses every lumen to create a fantastic spread of color when facing the wall. And to achieve this brightness, underneath the diffused rubber sits 324 LED beads, which is particularly dense. That's about two LEDs for every centimeter, which definitely explains the brightness. But what can you do with all of this brightness and color? Well, pretty much everything the Govi range is capable of. Once paired to your Wi-Fi, you've got full smart control of all of the settings in the app, and you'll notice some very familiar options if you've used other Govi products before. Oddly, Govi have included this remote, which can control the lamp too, and offers sort of simplistic controls rather than using Alexa or the app. Slightly odd because I don't think I'll ever use this, but, I guess it's handy if you have guests and they don't know your smart home commands or routines. But if you are using the app, there's a really robust section of preset scenes along with complete customization of color and style. You can even customize effects and set color segments to get whatever style you want, including even blanking certain segments off. But perhaps the most notable addition in the Floor Lamp Pro software is the addition of all of the new ambient white noise scenes, which will play a visualization matched to a noise of that particular scene that you've selected. So for example, 
If you've set raining on, then it turns the sound of raindrops on the speaker on the bottom, with the light turning into kind of a rain pattern or animation. Or you've got things like the fire option, which turns a, the speakers into a sound of a crackling fire, and a light display that resembles a fireplace. And what's cool is that you can select a scene and choose to bind it to a particular sound from a number of different options within the app. So whenever you choose to play that visual scene, the audio that you select will auto play at the same time. And this offers superb customization. You can also choose to unbind these sounds so that it just runs the light show if you're inclined to do so. But I think this new audio scene combination is a particularly good feature for helping people that need noise to relax or even for those who need noise to drift off to sleep. I'm not sure how much I'll get from these modes at night. I'm one of those psychopaths that needs complete silence to get to sleep. If a feather so much as drops or floats in the village over, I'll wake up immediately. But I do often listen to ambient sounds whilst working during the day, as I find it helps my focus. But everyone else in the family uses some form of white noise to help them get to sleep. Probably because of my snoring. But this is like a white noise machine on steroids, whether it's intended or not. The Govi Floor Lamp Pro is possibly the best white noise machine I've ever tested, and because it supports all of the usual smart home control we've come to expect, you can set up innovative automations such as white noises triggering in the nursery and activating rain visualization if it detects a baby crying, hopefully providing an audible and visual stimulation until I can get there to comfort him. You could even do things like use this as an alarm in the morning, playing one of the scenes with an increasing volume and brightness to wake you up, effectively acting as the ultimate sunrise alarm clock. But it's not just white noise that this can be used for. It can be paired up via Bluetooth to your devices to act like a wireless speaker for music too. Now the audio unit at the base hides two full range and one low frequency drivers and these come together to make an audio experience that is overall good. I won't beat around the bush here, I don't think it's going to win any awards for its sound quality but for Govi's first attempts at a speaker of this size I think they've done a good job. This was our first reaction the first time we chucked some music through it. by having the ability to play music natively, it adds a bit of a superpower to this product over other Govi products because it actually synchronizes to the music and it does it digitally rather than audibly. Almost all other Govi lighting has a music mode that reacts to music using an onboard microphone. And whereas this works absolutely fine, other noises other than music can affect the light synchronization. With the Floor Lamp Pro, because the speaker is on board, it uses the processing to figure out the synchronization so that you can scream, shout, and stamp your feet as much as you want to your favorite hoedown music without it affecting the light show. What's even cooler is that if you own other Govi products, you have the ability to synchronize them through what Govi call their dream view, which will essentially extend the colors displayed from one device to another, creating whole room immersion. Now, in terms of the price, I've actually been very fortunate enough to get hold of this pre-release, but I believe that the Floor Lamp Pro comes in at around $220. Now, as a disclaimer, I'm not 100% certain that's correct or what the UK pricing is, but I will link it below so you can take a look at the price for yourselves. But overall, I think if it does come out at that price, it's pretty good value. It certainly fills a very specific void that I'm not sure any other speaker, lamp, smart light, lightsaber thing could fill. 
not even the symphonic speakers that I mentioned at the start. Funnily enough, it might not be the best sounding speaker lamp that I've ever tried, but it's certainly the best visually with all of the advanced controls and customization that Govi products are renowned for. Now, I'm not sure it's going to be to everyone's style, given that it's a particularly modern looking, which might not fit into everyone's aesthetic. And it would have been nice if they'd done it in a few more colors other than just black and silver perhaps like a brass or an antique gold. But with that said, it's pretty inconspicuous. I mean, when I turn it like this, you can hardly see it's there. I mean, the tube is only a few centimeters thick and I guess you could actually take the tubing out, the LED out of the run and off the base and then potentially paint this surface if you really wanted to. So there is that. But I think ultimately, if you're looking to extend smart lighting in your room, and if you have other Govi kit as well in the same room, it's a no brainer. And if you're looking for the most advanced white noise machine experience in existence, you shouldn't look any further than the Govi floor lamp. Bro, what do you think? Is it a good addition to the Govi lineup? Is it something that you could see in your house? Let me know in the comments below. I'll be replying to everyone over the next few hours, so make sure to drop down there and let me know your thoughts on this device. And if you like Govi kit and you want to see more, we recently reviewed the Neon Rope Lights Pro 2, where we made a Wish.com version of the Batman logo. So make sure you go and check that out. And if you enjoyed today's episode, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, and I'll see you guys back for another episode of Steve's Reviews soon.